Hello YouTube, I'm Miss Fit Fan Collector here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean a fan. As you see, I have a cool master here. Uh, the reason why I changed my name is because I've discovered I'm a Miss Fit Fan Collector. That doesn't mean, you know, I'm rejected by the fan community. What I mean by that is I collect fans that are the undesirables, basically. Like, the fans that no one really wants in the fan community. Like, the fans kind of like no one wants. My, a buddy of mine named Kwamel, he's also considered a misfit fan collector. He collects any kind of fan, really. He doesn't matter if it's cheap, expensive, whatever. Same kind of with me. But today we have this cool master fan made by the same company that makes Aerial Speed. Um, it's quite dirty. I found it in my basement. I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to make a video of it. So first up, I'm going to grab a chair from my dining room so I can prop it up to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just going to set a chair up on the kitchen floor, prop the fan up, and I'm going to go grab something. So what you're going to need to clean up a fan properly the way I do it, you're going to need some baby wipes. I use them all the time. Now the first step with this kind of fan, it has clips. So what you do is you just press down the cover on the top half and pull it up and then twist it and it just comes right out. And you can see, I don't think it's ever been really cleaned. Um, this is the blade for it. Basically, an area of speed blade. We're going to try to pull it off here. Got it out successfully. Cut my hand a little bit, actually. No, that's just dried skin. All right. I thought I cut my hand doing it. But this is the blade. Kind of dirty. Put that down. Um, so the first step is to clean the back cover. I'm gonna use baby wipes here. They trap, they trap all the dirt onto them, and they and they do the job really good. And they do. I always clean my fans with these, so I'm not just doing this for the one video. Any brand baby wipes will work. Or moist oil, that's where we use, but I use baby wipes because, well, usually we just have them laying around and I use them and they can clean the fan really good, so. And they're soft, so if you have, like, polished blades or something, they won't, like, scratch them and they won't damage them or anything, so. It's very effective. And it gets all the dirt better than a duster does. So I'm doing this, this is how I get a fan set up for a video. Now the next step you want to do is go to the back of your fan and clean the back half of it best you can. This one's got dust kind of trapped in it. So um, a lot of the dirt and dust, just got to wipe it down like this in a motion going toward the outer ways of the fan and it will just trap it. Another way you could do this is with an air compressor, but I wouldn't recommend doing it with an aerial speed fan because of the material of the blades. But this is all the dust and dirt that came off the fan. Trap the baby one. So what you do now when you're done with the one is throw it away and then you grab another one and continue on with the cleaning of the fan. I might have to take the motor out of this one to clean it, but I tested a fan, it still works. Now it's time for the next step, the base of the fan, over here, you just want to hold it, or sit it down, oh, I almost dropped the fan here, 
I'm going to try to prop it up a little bit. I know you can't see this on the camera, but it's just easy. It's the same thing. Swipe it down. Make it nice and clean. And now we have a completely clean back half. Now it's time to work on the fan blade and the cover. So the fan blade, you do the same thing. You just wipe down blade sides like like that and just kind of wipe it down wipe it down on the other side as well and um, should let me try to get the sub down on the countertop because it's kind of got like some stuff that made it's like stuck to the blade I think it, it's not grease because it's just never used in my kitchen but it's like just dust it's got caked on because it was sitting motor side out facing toward a basement window for a couple years and I think it's just like dirt that got baked onto it but you just want to wipe it down and yet again I'm gonna need another baby wipe I go through about five or six maybe even more usually so it depends on well how dirty your fan is I use these on every fan, including my Dominion. Oh, I just dropped my thing. But, um, yeah, so... Look. So, basically, you just go around, clean the blades, and it should look... Once you get it done, it should look like brand spanking new when you're done. So, I had two of these fans, but one of them was the Area Speed BX100. And I was using a blade for another fan. I was impersonating the Franken fan, which was in an earlier video of mine. But what happened was that fan met its fate. I was working on my Encon Astro Deluxe, and it, I accidentally, accidentally stepped into it, and I accidentally touched the welding wire to the blade. I mean, the solder wire, not welding wire, sorry, the soldering wire, and it ended up causing the blade to explode and it cut my leg a little bit but so I only have one of these so I took the area of speed and I parted it out and I crushed the frame because it was all bent but here's the blade all nice and clean both sides next step is the grossest part it's always the front cover on a, on a fan portable fans get disgusting and not a lot of people think of Think, think to take them apart every now and then and clean them, but they do get very dusty, and it it's pretty gross after a while, and you start seeing strands of it coming out, and it's really gross. It's a very disgusting thing, like the covers, but it comes right out. Just got to kind of wipe it down. You want to go on these on a side motion kind of thing like this. Just to get all the dirt come out like a sheet. As you see, it's coming out like a sheet. And you just want to get it all out. These little slats, whatever's left over, you can just wipe it down. But we have pets in my house, so that makes it a little bit even like more disgusting. But that is nasty. That's all dirt. It's like dirt, dust, and I don't know, pet hair. Gets entrapped in the little slats in your grills and just gets disgusting looking. And you see all this and you're like, oh, how can you live like this? Well, pretty much every fan, if you don't clean them often, even if you clean them often, they do get like this over time. But it's an easy fix. You don't have to throw it away and get a new fan. Or call the mold cup services to take care of it. Or something. It's fine. It's normal. It's just... These covers are meant as a protector. But what they mostly do, and I've noticed it, is they capture a lot of the dust and, and allergens. And, and their little slats. They're usually... On newer fans, they're facing like on this one. It's in the opposite direction. 
it's in the way they are. It spins this way, and the slats go in the other way. So what it does is it catches the dust as it's spinning, but allowing the airflow, which I think is a pretty cool idea. I really like the look of this fan, but it's kind of cheap. I'm not going to lie, but I do like it. It work, does move a good amount of air, and it's pretty quiet. And it's better than um, my box fan. What I'm, I, but better, ugh. It's better than the box fans I've had at the time. So, um, it's a pretty good fan. I like it. I'm going to just try to clean it up a little bit, and now it's clean. And you just want to shake it. Clean up the little mess you made on your floor with like the paper towels and clean off your countertop if you're in your kitchen, like I am making this video. I usually do these in, this in, this job in my bedroom. You can do it wherever you really feel like doing it. In actually, I'm just gonna mop. I'm just gonna use the broom because it's not. Even that, it's actually pretty nasty right now. So you just broom it up. Quite a lot of dust on the floor from it. And you just, you know, to clean a fan, you just take, I mean, to clean the fan, that's all you do. Then you just mop, I mean, almost just mop. You could, you could mop it up, but I used a broom. And you just put it all in the dustpan and mop that up. This is all excess dust. I mean, some people like dirty fans, but for video purposes, I clean them just to make them look their best. And I oil them, and I make sure they're running their best when I make a video. That's why it takes me a while sometimes to make a video of a fan. Because I have to service them every now and then, and i got to clean them and polish them and dust them and whatnot. So, there's a little hack for you guys. Now... The final step is to get it all back together. So there's a little flat spot on these covers, on these fan blades. And you want to tilt your fan up, this one pointing toward upward, and you want to turn your shaft on your motor so it matches your blade. Then you just push it in. And if you need to, you just do this. Kind of tap it in, hit it in. And it looks like it's in pretty good. Do this and shake it a little bit. Hit it in a little more. And now your blade's attached. And now for your final step, inserting your cover to your fan. Still a little more dust left, so I'm just going to shake it out here. Blow it out. And now for your final step, take your cover and put it in backwards. Or not backwards, but like the first way. So you just take two, three, the first three clips, turn it a little bit, which it'll fall out. This is a very difficult cover to install on one of these. But you just kind of squeeze it, it should just pop in. And then just turn it up here. Just get it in. And then to make sure it's all the dust is out of it, you just go ahead and you plug it into the wall. And then you simply turn it on. Shake it around a little tap it. There is stuff coming out of it. Then you grab a pack of towel, which is right here, and then you just wipe out, wipe it down while it's running. And that'll get all the extra dirt strands that are coming out of it. And um, then you unplug it when you're done. And or use it. There you go. That is how you clean a 
fan, a portable fan. That's how you clean a portable fan, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something today. This is a Mr. Fan Collector. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I hope I taught you guys how to clean a fan properly. A clean fan blows more air, at least newer ones. Before I go, I'm just going to tell you, cleaning a newer fan is a lot, makes them blow more air. Because the slats are a lot more closer together than the older ones were. And if you clean them often, because if you don't clean them, dust gets in these and it jams them. And it clogs them. I've seen it firsthand in like store, convenience stores, they do it. They never clean their fans. This entire cover, except for like two or three slats, gets clear. So there's like no air coming out of it, so it's just spinning, but it ain't really doing its job. So if you keep them clean and you maintain them, if they run slow, add a little bit of 3 in 1 into the motor. If they don't blow a lot of air anymore, chances are it just needs to be cleaned. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next video will be a demonstration of this Coolmaster um, Cyclone copy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Hope to see you in the next video.